Christopher Pine, thanks for your time. Well, it's good to be with you, Brian, and good evening. You're struggling to get this message out to the community, aren't Brian, you? Brian, it's a very, very difficult message. We knew it was going to be. And let's be honest about this. People did know what was coming. No, they didn't. Brian, if they didn't, it's their own stupid fault. If they'd listened very carefully to what we were saying, it was pretty obvious where we were going. Perhaps people were distracted by the promises that you made that you were going to do the opposite. Brian, we've inherited a catastrophe. Yeah, we're sure. doing okay. what we can to fix it. A lot of people don't believe you. A well, lot of people are saying that you are causing fundamental damage to the Australian way of life. Brian, can I interrupt you? Who's this? It's an interpreter. An interpreter? Yeah. Evening. Why? Well, according to the Prime Minister, part of the government's problem is that you're not getting your message well, out to true. the public that's who can't what understand what, what you were saying. That's what I'm saying. So we're providing for oh. clarity an interpreter. He's going to interpret? Yeah. So do people understand? So people understand. And we don't have all this confusion? No, that's exactly Excellent. right. Very good. Okay. So just talking about the response mm. to the budget, it's obvious this has been a really deep shock to the community. Well, Brian, I can allay people's fears there. This is a government that's very concerned about the well-being of all Australians. That's very concerned mm. about the well-being of all the people we know personally. But these tax increases and reduction in services and benefits do challenge the very idea of an equitable but society. Brian, we're trying to build an equitable society. We're trying to build two completely separate societies. Well, can I ask you about the Medicare co-payment? Well, that's a very good example, Brian. This is a government that's very committed to medical research and to science. Excuse me, what are you doing? Big button. Oh, sorry, I thought I'd sleep through this bit. Sleep through it? You're supposed to be interpreting. This is the bit about your commitment to science? That's right, I'm explaining the government's deep and abiding commitment to science. Really? You haven't even got a science minister. Well, Christopher Pine, if we could come to the new petrol tax, obviously people out in the rural sectors are going to be paying through the nose for this. Brian, you uh, can't go anywhere in this country without going by car. Look, the reality is, Brian, that if we don't get these measures through the Senate, our AAA rating is going to be completely trashed. No, it won't. Just ignore this bit, Brian. Brian, if we don't get this stuff through the Senate, interest rates will go up. We'll all be murdered now, Beds. No, no, that's not going to happen, Brian. Forget about this. Brian, the opposition is is trying to trash the Australian economy. They're doing irreparable damage to our reputation overseas. You're the ones who are saying that there's an economic crisis. You're the ones saying that we're all no, going to be... You can shut up any time you like, pal. Brian, this is an insult. I refuse to stay here any longer. I'm leaving. Where are you going? He's going on a visit to a university. Whoops. Really? No, bugger that. I'm not doing that. I thought so. No, it's safer here, Brian. No, in your own time, Brian. Can you keep your voice down a bit?